one of the initiatives back in 2014 was that environmental justice and sustainability doesn't just need to be taught in environmental studies. It needs to be taught, incorporated, integrated across the board. And so, yes, you can teach this in an art history class, or you can teach it in an English class or creative writing. It's really uh, that vital. You know, it's introducing a new paradigm with mm. sustainability aesthetics. What makes this building beautiful or a success is directly tied to its relationship with nature. Wow. So when we look at its connection to natural light and its psychological well being, the effects, the positive effects on the viewer, that leads to it being a successful example of design simply because of its connection to nature. The question is how does the designed amenity foster inclusivity mm. uh, is a question, you know, how can it be improved? Who is being served? And exactly what you're saying. So thinking about the heating, the cooling, what is the temperature, what the ventilation, the lighting, what is the lighting source? Passive solar design, or is it electric lighting? Or you know, what is the noise level? What about the acoustical design? And how are we affected by that? And again, who is being served? Mm. How can we draw more attention to the for this form of social justice at the institutional level?